Hey there living jet setters, welcome to yet another flight review and today we are flying on Bangkok Airways in economy class from Bangkok to Phuket and I'm super excited to be trying out Bangkok Airways so follow me on this journey. So your Suvarnabhumi airport is not as busy at you, as it used to be pre-pandemic levels but it's always nice to walk around this uh, airport and it's it's really a nice airport uh, today we are flying the domestic sector and I'm pretty excited to experience Bangkok Airways and apparently I've heard that Bangkok Airways offers even economy class passengers uh, the use of a lounge well that's a first for me I never heard of and economy class passengers being getting lounge service from an airline so i'm eager to try that and to see if that is true also so let's go and check in first for our flight and we'll catch you so bangkok airways has the self check-in desk where if you have your boarding pass you can just put your boarding tags and then just drop the bag off so this is quite effective and efficient so guys check-in was done and very nice very easy i really like the baggage drop option where you you know you just print your boarding pass and then drop the bags off and attach the tags yourself although in this case uh, the lady from Bangkok Airways did help me but very nice effective and uh, I really like the check-in options now I'm gonna clear security and then head towards my gate and explore the airport a bit so I'm here at the Bangkok Airways lounge and I'm gonna see whether it's really true because it's really hard to believe that an airline offers a lounge service for economic class. So let's go and try this out. Hi. Yes. Is it true that uh, you actually give lounge service for the economic class also? Yes, this is for wow. our economy. Okay, that's a first. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy your Thank lounge. you so much. Well, there you go, guys. Even if you are in economic class on Bangkok Airways, you actually get lounge service. So I made myself inside the lounge and I actually feel delightful that as an economic class passenger I got the lounge service so great Bangkok Airways I already love you guys so far and the lounge is pretty neat it's, uh, so you have your the boarding uh, gates display and uh, you have free Wi-Fi here and let's check out what's the food options this is quite a nice spacious lounge here a lot of seems to be a bit crowded well I guess it's the morning time so everyone's catching a cup of coffee and a sandwich well let's check out oh so you have some coffee that's good some juice some sandwiches this is really good so let me find a place for me to sit so I um, got myself some coffee a sandwich and pretty decent I mean for an economic class experience and to have a lounge experience just before your flight get grab yourself a cup of coffee and you know what's happening is that even in this times of pandemic that Bangkok Airways is actually uh, still continuing this tradition of providing a lounge service so kudos to you Bangkok Airways I think that's a really really great uh, uh, experience and no wonder they say that this Asia's only uh, boutique airline it truly is so I had a great cup of coffee and some sandwiches here at the lounge amazing service i mean i couldn't ask for anything more thank you so much thank you very nice stuff very very nice stuff and i know that the airlines is a struggling business but to have some airlines really go out of the way to maintain the product that they used to offer pre-pandemic levels is i think a testimony to its commitment towards its passengers and to do the brand of the airline as such so i think bangkok airways you score definitely on this one very nice so i made myself through security and to the boarding gate now and i think i'm pretty early but it's always nice to be here at suvarnabhumi the boarding gates especially because you can actually have a look at the apron and the runways and if you're an ape i think these views are very nice so and it's such a beautiful day so right now uh, since i'm extremely early at my gate we have a Thai Viet jet which is also going to Phuket. Uh, so once this aircraft leaves from here, Bangkok Airways, which is an A320 uh, aircraft for today, 
So pretty excited to fly on Bangkok Airways. Thank you, no problem. So boarding was pretty smooth and we make our way to the aircraft. Hi, well left, thank you. Morning. Morning. And there we are guys at our seat and I've got a nice exit seat overlooking the wing and let me quickly give you a seat tour. So since this is a regional aircraft and uh, I've got the exit seat so there's tremendous leg room here. It's actually quite good and quickly a seat through so it's a basic flight so this the flight takes around like 90 minutes and uh, i think it's quite nice uh, everything looks quite clean and uh, well maintained so you have the tray table basically and uh, no entertainment options here but that's okay it's just like a 90 minute flight to Phuket and uh, looks pretty really good the cabin seems pretty neat boarding process for a good welcoming crew at the door and a nice smile on your face i mean you can't see the smile but you can see it through the eyes so overall pretty good so far and i'm happy to be at my seat and a good boarding process so very smooth so this seat has pretty good recline too i mean i'm actually amazed but, I'm, but then you got to remember I'm at the second row of the exit so it has recline but just check out this recline oh that's really good nice and quite comfortable seats so it actually doesn't feel too cramped up here it actually feels quite good and relaxed and you have a quite a generous uh, width the pitch seat width is quite generous and it's quite good so the hard product of Bangkok Airways seems really really good so, so boarding is complete right now and I actually have the whole row so this is great so the crew is very very professional just got my safety briefing because remember I'm sitting right next to the exit seat here so very nice he actually explained it in Thai and then in English so kudos to safety briefing uh, very professional crew very nice interesting and I've just been told this by the uh, nice uh, polite cabin crew. I just inquired I mean is there a meal service on this flight she said yes there is but they don't serve it on the flight apparently because the Thai regulations still prohibit you removing your mask on the flight so even you cannot eat or drink on the flight 
So once we land and upon disembarking, they're going to ha ha be handing us some snack packets. So there's no food review of Bangkok Airways right now. And this is going to be weird to do a few review after landing, but we'll still try to get it done. Well, well that's how pandemic has changed things. And if you uh, uh, want to have water on the flight, and she just told me, so you got to go to the galley and pick yourself a bottle up and then you come back. So they're not going to serve you any snacks or water or anything. Uh, the snacks will be just served to you once you land and disembark from the flight. And one way I think that's fair enough because they already provide you a lounge service for economic class passengers. So I mean I've already had my coffee, I had a sandwich so I'm not that hungry. But uh, for me it's actually weird uh, to experience that that you're going to be served your meal or your snack box only after landing. Well that's a first for me ever. If you're ever flying to Phuket make sure you get a window seat because trust me the approach into Phuket is beautiful. You can actually get a view of the islands and the crystal blue water. It's amazing. It's it's, it's just so delightful to actually just uh, have a look at the spectacular view. Disembarking. Oh, and yes, true to their word, they are handing over the refreshment. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right then, and here we are in Phuket. So that was a nice flight, and you get the meal service at the end of the flight. But that was something interesting. And just to show you guys what we have, let me just get off the bridge and I'll actually show you guys uh, well the disadvantage of this is like when you get off a flight I mean you want to exit the airport you want to go in a taxi so I really don't think you know it's a great idea to hand over food once the flight is done but well I mean since they also provide a lounge service well I think they make up for it so that's okay so let me show you what I've got in the bag here Let's see. So it seems like a uh, puff. Uh, we have a cookie. Yeah, that's a cookie. A water bottle and some tissues. So basic uh, a snack box like. So there you go guys, we got our baggage. Well, and uh, making our way out of the airport. It was a nice flight, a very quiet, uneventful flight. Uh, only strange thing was the meal service to, that was given uh, at the end of the flight. Anyway, we're making our way out of the airport. Now, an important tip for you guys to remember, and this is courtesy of my very good friend who has told me, that whenever you're making your way out of Phuket, uh, and if you need a taxi, go to a registered taxi stand. Because trust me, there are a lot of touts here, and you'll just end up paying a lot more and spending a lot of more time. Uh, trying to get a taxi and an unauthorized one that too So guys if you like this video, please don't forget to like share and subscribe I'm gonna enjoy my next few days in Phuket until we meet again. Thank you. Bye. Bye